What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a jittery text effect with After Effects and add them on your videos with Final Cut Pro 10. But before we begin with the tutorial, I want to give a huge thanks over at VideoBlocks for making this video possible. If you have a VideoBlocks membership, you get access to 1.8 million stock videos for 40% off per clip compared to competitive sites and over 100,000 free clips. VideoBlocks takes 0% commission on its sales while passing all savings on its members. With over 1.8 million stock videos, After Effects and Motion Backgrounds, VideoBlocks has the largest download library with over $10 million in content. During your 7 day free trial, you can download 140 pieces of content. You can also sign up for their annual plan which is $99 for unlimited access to the library. Every member comes with a 100% royalty free agreement and if you decide to cancel your membership, your agreement is still valid and you can use your downloaded content for commercial use forever. Click the link in the description below or go to videoblocks.com forward slash YouTube to get started with this exclusive offer. Without further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. So this is the effect we're going to go ahead and do right now. Alright, so to do that effect is very easy. All you need of course is either a photo editing application. You don't have to use Photoshop for this part, but you will need After Effects and Final Cut Pro 10. But what you want to go ahead and do is go over to File, Create a New Document. Just go with the width 1920 by 1080, click OK. Doesn't matter what the background is, uh, but depending on if your video you're going to be using is dark or light, if the video is dark, then you want to use white text. And that means you're going to have to use a dark background so you can see the text here, which is going to be white. If the video is dark, you're going to do the opposite of that. Uh, in this case, the video I'm going to be using is dark, so I'm going to use a dark background. So I'm going to just uh, fill this with black. So I have my foreground color set to black. I'm just going to go ahead and just paint in with black. And the font I'm going to be using is called The Skinny. It's regular. You can do bold if you would like. Uh, I'll leave a link for that font in the description of this video so you guys can download that as well. It is for free. So go ahead and type in whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be typing in San Fran. Cisco, I believe that's how you spell Francis San Francisco. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to regular just for this example. Now you see this a lot in a lot of vlogs, a lot of beauty channels, and a lot of stuff like that. And I just wanted to help out some of you guys in uh, in achieving this effect. If you guys were wondering how to do this, so I'm just gonna scale this up just like that, San Francisco. Now you want to go ahead and export this as a JPEG, and I'll tell you why in Final Cut Pro 10 and why this is important. But for now, just go to File, go to Save for Web, depending on which version of Photoshop you're using. Go ahead and just click Save as JPEG right here. I'm going to just name this San Fran, just because. Shout out to any San Francisco viewers. <laughs> so let me go ahead and min uh, minimize that, and I'm going to go into After Effects. And it doesn't matter which After Effects you're using. So to go ahead and uh, create a new composition, go to Composition, New Composition, give it a name. Uh, I don't really care. I'm going to do comp one. You want to keep the frame rate at eight uh, frames per second. The lower the better, but around five to 10 is good. This is what gives you that very jittery text effect. Okay. So the frame rate is at eight. Uh, the background color doesn't matter. Just click okay. And then from here, you want to go ahead and import the picture that you have saved. So go over to file, go to import and go to file and then select the San Fran or whatever you saved it as. Make sure it's a JPEG, click open and drag that down here. So now it should fill the whole entire document just like that if the dimensions were the same. And then from here you want to go ahead and go on to effect, distort and go down to turbulent displace. From here you want to go ahead and lower the amount just because it's really crazy. So I'm going to just lower that to around 8. 8 to 10 is fine. I just keep it at 10. You could lower it a little bit more. I feel like 7 is fine or 9 or 8. Uh, 8 is perfect in my opinion. The size here, you want to also want to decrease that. I say around 50 to 60 is a good bet. 56 is good. Now, you want to go on to Evolution Options, click this little arrow and go to Cycle Evolution. Make sure that is checked. And then from here, you want to go on to the text layer, go down to the arrow here next to this little purple icon, or that could also be a different color. It could be pink or whatever. And then from here, you want to go on to Effects turbulent displace and go on to evolution options go down and select random seed and on a Mac 
you want to hold down uh, shift option equals and if you're on a PC it's shift alt equals on your keyboard and that will bring up the expression little window here and you want to go ahead and type in time times 10 so times or time times 10 uh, so I'll just press enter and then now if we kind of hide everything here and we push play we should have this little cool effect here now if you want to lower the amount or the strength so right now we have it at 8 and if we increase that the more jittery it gets as you can see or maybe you just want a very subtle you can go up to 4 and push play uh, so it just depends on your personal preference I'm gonna go to 8 because just that's just perfect for me and from here you want to go ahead and render that out so go on to composition at the top go to add to render queue on the output module click on lossless and make sure everything is checked here Go on to format options and video codec and make sure that's on H.264. Click OK and OK once more and then the output. Go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to just name this text effect and then where I'm going to just save it to my desktop. Click save and render that bad boy out. All right, so it's now finished rendering. So go on to Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to just use this video uh, that I got over at videoblocks.com if you guys were wondering. It's a really cool, simple stock footage, royalty free. So I would highly suggest you guys check them out. So go on to file, go on to import, and then media or command I. Make sure it is the video. So uh, text effect, here it is. And uh, I'm gonna drag that on there. It's this one here, so I'm gonna drag that on top. So now if we push play, nothing's gonna happen, but we're gonna go ahead and change the blending mode. So go on to video, make sure your text is selected, and go on to blend mode, and right now it's currently set to normal. Go ahead and select add or lighten doesn't really matter I'm gonna select lighten and now you can see through it and this is why it's important to have the background be black and the text be white if the video is dark if it's the opposite if the video was bright then you want the text to be black and the uh, background to be white I believe yeah and then you can do multiply and that should work if not you could mess around with the blend modes and then from here you can just change and and do whatever you want with this you can change the scale uh, just like that. Maybe you want it like that. So now if I push play, you should have this really cool uh, jittery text effect here. And uh, I see this a lot in a lot of beauty channels, a lot of vlogs especially. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool and unique uh, little effect that you can do in After Effects. And uh, again, you don't need Photoshop for the text part. You can use, uh, you know, an, a free online application to create this very easy. I'll link some in the description if you guys are wondering. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, so if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a rating below. That would be awesome. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I post videos just like this, tutorials. Comment down what you guys want to see next in my video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.